Welcome to the Professor English Podcast, where we don't just talk about English, we practice English. My name is Ryan, and I am your host. Today, we are going to practice English by using the word thoroughly, which can be used to mean completely or 100%. This is a listening and speaking exercise. So, if you want to improve your English listening, your English speaking, and your accuracy while improving your vocabulary, in other words, the whole enchilada, you have found the right video. There are no long explanations, just English practice. Practice listening and practice speaking. So, if you are not clear about the meaning thoroughly now, don't worry. By the end of the video, the idea will be very clear. So be sure to watch until the end. Before we begin, I just want to remind you that if you prefer some visual help with this exercise, you can always see the video version on my YouTube channel, Professor English ESL Class. Now. Let's dive in and start practicing English. Here is a situation. John said that there were no mistakes in the report. Now let's make a how John know no mistakes in the report. How did he? How did? How did he? How did he know? How did he know? How did he know that there were? How did he know that there were no mistakes? How did he know? How did he know that there were no mistakes? How did he know that there were no mistakes in the report? In the report? How did he know that there were no mistakes in the report? Here is the answer. Because he checked it. <laughs> because he checked it. Because he, because he, because he. Checked it, checked it, checked it. Because he checked it, because he checked it. He knew that there were no mistakes in the report because he checked it. He knew that there were no mistakes. He knew that there were no mistakes in the report because he checked it. Now, let's add the word thoroughly in front of checked. He thoroughly checked it. He thoroughly checked it. He knew that there were no mistakes. He knew that there were no mistakes in the report because he thoroughly checked it. Now that we put the word thoroughly in front of check, it sounds like he did a very complete job, a 100% check job. He checked it 100%, very complete. He knew that there were no mistakes. He knew that there were. He knew that there were no mistakes. In the report. He knew that there were no mistakes in the report because he thoroughly checked it. He thoroughly checked it. Because he thoroughly checked it. Because he thoroughly checked it. He knew that there were no mistakes in the report because he thoroughly checked it. All right, fantastic job. Let's take a look at another situation. Mike really likes Mary. Mike really likes Mary. Let's make a how you know question. How you know that? How do you? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know that he really likes her? Likes her. Likes her. He really likes her. How do you know that he really likes her? That he. That he. How do you know that he really likes her? How do you know that he really likes her? How do you know that he really likes her? How do you know that he really likes her? Here is the answer. Because he enjoyed having dinner with her. He enjoyed having dinner with her. You know that he really likes her because he enjoyed having dinner with her. Having dinner with her. Having dinner with her. He enjoyed having dinner with her. You know that he really likes her because he enjoyed having dinner with her. Let's add the word thoroughly in front of the word enjoyed. He thoroughly enjoyed having dinner with her. He 
He thoroughly enjoyed having dinner with her. He thoroughly enjoyed having dinner with her. This means he enjoyed every moment, every part of the dinner, the company, the food, the conversation, everything. 100% of it was wonderful. He thoroughly enjoyed having dinner with her. You know that he really likes her because he thoroughly enjoyed having dinner with her. You know that he really likes her because he thoroughly enjoyed having dinner with her. All right, you're doing a super duper job. Let's try another example. But before we do, I just want to remind you that if you find these exercises helpful, please subscribe to my channel, Professor English ESL Class, so that you won't miss the next lesson. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to press the like button. It helps my channel so much and lets me know that you want to see more fluency and listening comprehension exercises just like this one. Now, let's keep practicing English. Here is another situation. Mark is sure that he will pass the test. Mark is sure he will pass the test. Let's make a how he knows question. How he knows pass test question. How, how does he, how does he, how does he know? How does he know? How does he know that he will? How does he know that he will? How does he know that he will pass the test? How does he know that he will pass the test? How does he know that he will? How does he know? How does he know that he will? How does he know that he will? How does he know that he will pass the test? Here is the reason. He prepared for it. He knows he will pass the test because he prepared for it. He prepared for it. He prepared for it. He knows he'll pass the test because he prepared for it. Now let's add the word thoroughly in front of prepared. He thoroughly prepared for it. Now it means he prepared 100%, very carefully, very completely. He thoroughly prepared for it. He knows that he will pass the test. He knows he'll, he knows he'll pass the test. He knows he'll pass the test. He knows he, wait, he knows he will. He knows he'll, he knows he'll. He knows he'll, he knows he'll pass the test. He knows he'll pass the test because he, because he, he knows he'll pass the test because he prepared for it. He thoroughly prepared for it. 100% completely. He thoroughly prepared for it. He knows he'll pass the test because he thoroughly prepared for it. All right, you're doing a fantastic job. Let's try one more example. Mary didn't like the little town. That's our situation. She didn't like the little town. Now let's make a how no she didn't like. How she know she didn't like. How did she? How did she know? How did she know that she didn't like the little town? How did she know she didn't like the little town? Here is the reason. Because she explored it because she explored it. She knew that she didn't like the little town because she explored it. She knew she didn't like it because she explored it. She knew she didn't like it because she explored it. Now let's add the word thoroughly in front of the word explored. She thoroughly explored it. That means she explored every part. It was a very complete exploration. She saw everything. She knew she didn't like it because she thoroughly explored it. She knew she didn't like it because she thoroughly explored it. She knew she didn't like it because she, she thoroughly explored it. All right, you did an amazing job today and you learned some fantastic English. Congratulations, I knew you could do it. Remember, practice makes perfect. So you should repeat this exercise several times, not just so that you can remember how to use the word thoroughly, but also to improve your listening and speaking skills. 
It's been really fun practicing English with you today, and I hope to see you again real soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to press the like button. See you in the next video with more interesting words and phrases.